Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia Rebirth. Fresh off of escaping Leon and that hellish darkness. We do get bright lights, but what they're illuminating is pretty repulsive. So no breathing a sigh of relief yet. We are able to push these around like the one that got us access to this, but we don't need to right now. Really hope we don't have any open wounds right now. Oh, I thought it's not better, but I thought they were roaches. <laughs> okay, I've made this mistake too many times and just walked off the ledge. And we haven't had laudanum in the longest time, it feels like. Sounds like a rushing tide overhead. A really violent one. Stops out here. Yeah, that's not the way. We're going towards the sound. By the way, I have a correction to make thanks to a comment from OJBD about the name Amari, which I said means eternal in Hebrew. Uh, they confirm that that is dead wrong. It might be a weird transliteration thing, or the translation's just an ass pull from the sites I looked at. This is the machine I could see from above. Ah, what the hell is it? It's making my teeth ache. Mm. All the machinery is dormant, but even our vision gets hazy when we're by it. Richard. He's close by. Oh, these are locked tight. Under desert ruins and Roman bricks. What was this place, Amari? Some sort of outpost for that other world. some energy in this. Not enough, I guess. We require more Vitae. And by now, we all know what it takes to get that. Is there something around this corner? Oh my god. 
we need to wait a second. No! no! Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a pervert. I'm a sinner. I'm a, I'm a twisted, awful thing. Please, Alex. Save me. Save me. I need you. Remember, that's Alex's boyfriend. And he thinks he's being tortured or punished for being gay. Uh, luckily, the monster is stupid as shit. Hold on. I'll get you out of this. It'll be all right now. I promise. Please, Alex. Save me. Come and save me. I need you. I'll get you free. Does this look to you like I'm freeing him? Because I am. to be mashing the keyboard here? Oh, I can't remember. I'm going to assume no. Oh. My head. What happened? I feel so... so empty. What? What did I do? That needed to happen. I mean, it didn't need to happen, but game-wise, it needed to happen. Oh, Origin! I couldn't stop it. You couldn't stop me. Oh, fuck. So now we get a pretty good idea of what's happening to Tazi. Now we have to ask. When did this start? The container. It's full of life now. Richard's life. I should take this back upstairs. To the machine. Oh God. God, little one. Did that machine... Did... Did it hurt you? Did I... Hurt you? Shit! Shit! I know. I know what's happening to me. Just like Leon. No, I'm still me. Just like that, Richard's suffering and Richard's life becomes our battery. And now the machinery here is running.
here. We raise this into the air. It's too heavy, so it snaps. And then... Oh, I thought that goes and clogs the gear? Oh, no, 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 no. I know what I have to go do. Pretty sure I don't have to do anything with this one, right? That's nothing. That doesn't snap. This one is immobile. And that's the actual mechanism moving things. And we just go back under. is telling us to go this way. Leon thinks we should leave you. Leon is right. I'm just slowing you down. What did I say about self-sacrificial bullshit? Well, I'm going to give him the satisfaction. You hear me? Hank? I hear you. Actually, I want to double back real quick. Just make sure this is a dead end with nothing in it. Uh, yeah. Confirmed to be empty. We did it. I know. I know, little one. It's all right. He won't bother us. Not now. Let's get out of here. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. He's behind us now. He doesn't matter. We just need to get this canister into the machine upstairs. Then we can leave. I think. Wish I had found more to light. Oh, no. Okay, what did I not see? We're safe. We're away from him now. I'm looking for something that I can do with this. Oh, it's just right there. It's just dark. Another successful puzzle completion. <laughs> okay, good. A bit further. What a thrill. Oh. oh, damn it. Oh, well, at least it's already kind of bright in here. Or, well... When you've been crawling through the dark, any amount of light seems bright by comparison. Oh, 
least the match got me to the next room. One way or the other, it did its job. Hello? Okay. If I read this, no. Under the sign of Aranga on the second rise of the second calling, I, Karangi, make this record. We have identified a fault in the revised layout for the hunting ground gating system, where previously the harvesters had leeway to stalk the subjects for at least 100 edar. The current configuration tower lowers that to 30, as the subjects simply panic and stampede. This does not give enough time for an appropriate buildup of harvestable energy within their systems. I recommend restoring the previous configuration temporarily while we reevaluate. So recorded in her name eternal. The process meticulously refined, iterated upon for maximum efficiency in eliciting terror and agony. At long last, they have created the Torment Nexus from the classic sci-fi novel Don't Create the Torment Nexus. All running in circles down here. No, it's this room. There it is. I should have just taken a right. Dearest. Okay, the portal. All right, before we go, sir, excuse me. As I was saying, <laughs> a shout out to all of my lovely and generous supporters over on Patreon at patreon.com slash Subscribe, particularly these fine folks, Sam, Victor T, Absinthe Miasma, Cinderland Ackerblom, Glenn Mullen, Alp Brattenful, Sad Salad Dressing, Evan, Kyle, Brenton Buchanan, Caesar Zamudio, Chris Makesner Croft, Cleric Beastie, Ditlutz, Moody, The One-Two Punch of Wi-Fi and Not a Tick with Wi-Fi, <laughs> Wolfman 500, Cracky, and David Aniver. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.